What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how to upgrade from Windows 8 to 8.1. Now if you've got the uh, classic shell menu button at the bottom of your screen you're going to need to remove this because uh, we don't want this conflicting with our Windows 8.1. So I'm just going to quickly uninstall this. Okay. Now the picture quality is a little bit blurry from time to time and that's because it was very dark and uh, but you should be able to see what I'm doing and it does clear up a little bit later in the video. So first let's uh, remove Classic Shell. We're going to go to uh, Programs and Features. Now if you haven't got Classic Shell on then just ignore this part. I'm just going to quickly uninstall this from the system. Now once this is uninstalled we're going to need to do some updates on our system just to make sure we've got all the latest updates. Okay, so now we've removed that from the system. What we're going to do here is check for Windows updates. Now this is very important because we won't be able to see the, the upgrade to Windows 8.1 unless we've got all the latest updates. So we need to come down to Windows updates and download all the latest updates now if you've got all these latest updates and there's no more updates to get then you're good to go and you can skip this part. I'm just going to quickly download and make sure that I've got all the updates for this laptop. Now this does depend on how often you update your Windows system. As you can see this had quite a few updates to download. Now this may take a bit of time, so you may want to take a break and walk away from the screen for a while while it's updating and downloading. Now once they've downloaded all these updates, it will reboot the system and then start to install the updates. Now as you can see there's quite a few updates that need to be installed here, which will take some time. So again just let it do its thing and it will reboot from time to time and install the rest of the updates. And again, if you haven't got this many updates to do, then you don't have to worry, you can skip this part. Once that's done, it will start to configure the Windows updates and then put them onto the system. And that part is now complete. Now we're back at the uh, Metro interface. What we're going to do here is just quickly check to make sure that we've got every single update that's possible to get. That's very important otherwise we won't see the Windows 8.1 button on the screen there. So we're just going to quickly check and as you can see the computer is fully up to date. So now what we're going to do is just check the system requirements, make sure that we're compatible to run Windows 8.1 on this system and the links will be in the bottom video description and you need to make sure that your laptop or desktop is compatible. Another thing you need to do is make sure that you've got all the drivers to run on Windows 8.1 that probably won't be an issue but it's always best to check to make sure okay make sure you back up all your data on your system before you do the final part of downloading and installing Windows 8.1. So we're going to click on the store tab there, go straight onto the Microsoft Store, and now you should see a big update to Windows 8.1 for free. Click on that, and there you will see a download button. You can click on this, and you can use the computer whilst it's downloading in the background. It's a bit of a hefty download, as you can see. It's uh, three and a half gigs in size, but once that starts to download, depending on how fast your uh, download speed is, will depend on how long it takes. And it will install in the background. I'm just going to show you, just in case you think there's nothing happening, I'm going to click on this again, and you will see up in the top right hand corner, it says installing Windows 8.1. So it is working in the background, okay? It's downloading, so don't worry about that if you're going to be using the computer. 
Okay, so here we have our installation part. It's nearly complete now. And it now wants to restart the computer. We're just going to restart now to continue installing Windows 8.1. Now once we've done that, you'll get to this screen. Now yours may look slightly different depending on what system you got, but this part does take a considerable amount of time. It may take up to 20 minutes, or depending on how fast your computer is. Um, but just give, be patient and let it do its thing, okay? Okay, now you'll get this step, which is accept the uh, license terms. Just click on that and use Express Settings. Click on that. And this will now set up your user account profile. Now you can log into your existing Microsoft account if you've got the details by doing so above. And then if you haven't got those, you can also create a new account. You won't be able to skip this part, so you will need to do something here. As you can see, it won't let you go next. So you need to create a new account if you haven't got one. And fill out all the information. Once you've done that, just confirm all that and go next. Screen's gone a bit blurry here, but basically it wants to send a text message to you to confirm who you are in case you lose your details. It can reset those for you. I'm going to skip this part and I'm going to skip this part also. Now it wants to set up the SkyDrive for the cloud storage. It's going to go next here. It's now setting up my account. And now what it will do is install all your applications that you have. Now depending on how many apps you add or how many programs and stuff will depend on how long it takes. It does take a fair bit of time. But once all that's done you should be at the Metro user interface and there is our desktop with Windows 8.1 installed. It's that simple. So a pretty easy process on installing 8.1 on a Windows 8 machine. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope this video helps you out. If it does, then hit the like button. Uh, that really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with all the latest videos when I upload them. Sorry about the video quality there, but it was the only way I could get it to you in such short notice. So thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your support. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.